Hi, I'm Gina. And I'm Chi. A couple of months ago, we sold our home in the country and bought 40 acres of land. We are temporarily living in our RV in the middle of the Canadian wilderness, and we are completely off grid. God has blessed me with the opportunity to homeschool our three kids, and it's never a dull moment with our two huge Alaskan Malamute Husky puppies. I have many years experience in the construction industry, and we'll be sharing with you our journey and challenges as we build our dream home for our family. Let's just say we know this is not going to be easy, but nothing easy is worthwhile. So join us as we share our ups and downs of living off-grid in the Canadian Shield. So here is the front of our trailer. I'm not gonna show you around our trailer. I'm gonna show you inside our trailer for today. So this is kind of like our little entrance going on here. The kids are always here messing it up, guys. So, <laughs> but this is how it's looking. Uh, the trailer is 30 feet and it has one slide, which you will see it in our trailer, like the living room and dining room. Okay, let's show you guys inside. And as I show you inside, I'm going to be showing you before and after pictures as well, so you can kind of get an idea of how the space looked like before. So this is the kitchen, living room, dining room space. I'm just gonna give you guys like a 360 kind of look at it. Don't mind the mess in the sense of like the view because we are under construction, but you can kind of see how that looks like over here. Okay, let's start here with the living room. This used to have like one of those couches that you get in like, you know, every trailer. It was pretty outdated, it was pretty old. So what we did is we put like a day bed. This is just basically a bed. Used to have these railings in my homeschool space in my uh, our previous home. So we just decided just to keep it cost effective just to uh, put a day bed here and also someone could sleep on it, put some pillows, just make it a little bit cozy. <laughs> and uh, we just usually put a blanket over there because underneath there is storage. Anything that you can imagine, we stuff in there in little containers and the other thing that you'll notice that throughout the whole trailer is we painted it white bright now I really like it being bright but in hindsight I think that it does uh, cause a lot of like every little thing like if you like put your hand there it'll look kind of like smudge and stuff like that so in the future maybe we'll change the paint color to something a little bit different still bright but maybe something not so white I don't know uh, in the back here, you'll see that we have this wallpaper, like a wooden kind of uh, wallpaper that we have going on and my husband installed that. Um, we have our dining room, which also is where we homeschool, we eat, the kids like do a bunch of different activities and crafts and it's right here. This used to be like a U-shaped kind of thing going on. We removed that portion of the dining seats and we actually wanted that for a little bit more storage and we have this island on wheels and I'll show you how it kind of comes out here. But this gives us a little bit more storage for uh, utensils, I have my fruit there, bread, any type of like things that we need goes over here and then I have the dog food <laughs> there in the back hiding too. So. Uh, it just adds a little bit extra storage, but also a little bit more space for us to actually prep stuff. If I need that kind of, you know, surface, it's one more surface that I have that I can work with. So that's really, really important for us. And then we have a table. We just kind of gave it a little bit of a facelift. Same thing with our dining, our, our seats. We actually didn't finish it. Uh, we wanted to like sew it together and we kind of bought like this glue for sewing, but it didn't really work out very well. But anyways, we have to kind of redo that just to kind of the finishing of it, but for now it's fine. And we ended up going to fabric land and we just got like a fabric that we can kind of like wipe down. That's kind of easy for us to wipe down because the kids are always making a mess. These chairs are from our previous home and we just brought them just to add a little bit more space. Usually the kids will eat there and then my husband and I, we will sit down here 
and yeah it fits us all and it's pretty comfortable so it's nice to have this area and then we just kind of put like our little little bit of a decor just to bring the coziness we uh change the lighting as well so you'll notice here this one we kept so before it was just kind of like a button. I, I forgot how it even looked like here. We just got that from Home Depot and my husband kind of had to rewire some things because everything in an RV is with a button, right? So when we bought this, this didn't have a button, but my husband installed a, a button here. I don't know, he did something, but it worked out. <laughs> He's really good at that kind of stuff. We kind of changed this uh, a bit. It was kind of like an outdated kind of like thing that was there I don't even know how to call it but my husband kind of did a little facelift here just to add a little bit more character into the space and then we have my homeschool space over here I keep all of my group subjects here and um, stationary items all that kind of stuff so this is like my little homeschool corner <laughs> I have our first day of school pictures up here a little bit of art that Nicholas created There's a little clock up there um, my calendar and this is just kind of where all this is the bulk of it where it stays and we really did have to minimize and uh, really work with our space but because this is the cart I can move it around and that's really really nice so having two carts so I have that one for my kitchen and this one for my homeschool space is really really nice to have we also changed the floors to this lighter color it was all carpet before we ripped up the carpet we changed the floors there was a bit of water damage on this side over here but my husband fixed it all he made sure there was no water damage and it was completely you know somewhere where we could feel comfortable there's storage all around there too so underneath these cushions we have storage as well so anything like any bulky items will stay in there we have a little mirror here and then just this is our like uh, vacuum and uh, broom and that kind of stuff just stays hidden over there and then on let's move on to the kitchen it's small very very small we have one of everything one cup one spoon well we have a couple of spoons but one cup one mug like it's very very minimal so most of our things are up here and then we have these three little drawers over here and then we have storage in here and it goes all the way to the back so it goes from here all the way to this little uh, drawer here and we have just to be very minimal here and yes it is temporary but it was definitely hard for me because I don't think I was a minimal person we're coming from 3,000 square feet almost 3,000 square feet of a living space we had a huge kitchen huge kitchen before so this is definitely small but it's functional it works everything that I need is here so we have an oven it's on gas um, so uh, sorry it's on propane so um and then uh for the kitchen we actually just did a little facelift this is almost like just like a peel and stick that you put on top of the counters and it just lifts like it just makes it so much nicer and so much much more of an enjoyable space for you to actually cook we did a little facelift on the sink as well it was kind of like a yellowish color and we changed that we changed the faucet that's our drinking water so we have different types of water filters we have a uv filter here we have a reverse osmosis alkaline filter that's for our drinking water and uh, we just and we also have a carbon filter we have different types of filters just to make sure that our water is clean we are in the process of building a well and if you want to know how that goes you better subscribe to our channel so you can find out <laughs> my husband's coming with the kids they're on the TVs. Um, we did a peel and stick um, backsplash right over here for our kitchen so very inexpensive I think we got it at Home Depot and that's that so and on the side here where we keep our keys you'll see we have a lot of hooks so this is where we keep our keys um, and then we have a hook here for any jackets or you know anything that we need we usually have a rack here with our shoes it's out in the in the shed right now uh, but we do have a little rack that stays here as well for our shoes and yeah this is the kitchen guys so as you can see not it's not huge but I feel like when you have less, you're able to keep things a little bit more tidier. Um, if you're coming for my extreme clean video, let me know down below. It's, uh, it's very easy to keep this place clean, but it's also very hard at the same time because it's very easy to get it all, you know, um, messy because we have three kids, two huge dogs. It, it can get, you can get a little crazy in here. So less things on the counter really does make it nice here. 
having less things. And you can see there, there's our water filled, our water tanks over there. That's and if you're wondering for fridge, how we, we have like, it's not a normal size fridge, it's an RV fridge. And we do have to go grocery shopping like every four days, uh, give or take, or we can do a big one, but it'll be like stuff overflowing over here. So um, we do have a town very close to us, even though we are off grid you know, living in the middle of nowhere that we always joke around. We do um, have a fridge and it can fit. There's a freezer, there's the fridge and it runs on propane, but it also runs on electricity. And then I have a little hook there just for my oven mitts and for my apron. And then we have our TV station over here. We have uh, storage up above, storage in the bottom. Usually you put the dog stuff over there, like any treats, extra food, um, our like bills and that kind of stuff. Although we don't have a lot of bills here just because we're completely off grid and yeah, we don't, we don't have bills like energy bill and that kind of stuff. We don't have those kind of stuff anymore. So anyways, anything goes in there and then we have a bit of storage up there too, our TV. And then we have, this is our like pantry items. So all pantry items kind of go up here. I don't know if I should show you in here. It's a little messy, <laughs> but anyways, it stays up there. And then we have our bedroom. So we have a queen, like a normal queen bed. And my side, my husband's side, we have our, you know, our, this is where we keep all our clothes. So of course we have to keep it minimal as much as we can. So uh, we just painted everything white, put our new bed in, which I love our bed. And I wanted to make sure that it came in here. It was a little bit of a tight fit, but it fits because there was an RV mattress here before, but we wanted a normal mattress. There is storage underneath here too, so it fits a bunch of storage. And then my husband puts uh, the wallpaper up here too, just to add a little bit of more character into it. And then we have little drawers here on the bottom. And then I just keep all like my, I have my camera there. I have like books and a basket of my like morning time stuff that I do. And yeah, so we do have a lot of hooks in here too. So you can see here, our hats are in here. We have more hooks over there. We even have more hooks over here to keep our stuff. Like my purse is here and yeah. So, and we have a couple of extra blankets here. When we packed to come into our RV, our, our tiny home that we knew that we were going to live here temporarily is that we had to like have that, like that minimal mindset, which is very, very hard for me. I'm not gonna lie. I have my slippers here. My husband has his side of the bed here. And then over here, just like right here, we have our, um, our uh, air purifier and then we have a, a couple of backpacks and that's where I keep like my computer and all the other stuff so little look from here and then it closes off so we have doors over here on this side and then doors on this side over here just like for extra privacy right so the dogs usually sleep over here on this like hallway over here when uh, they come inside they love spending time outside but when it's really really hot they like staying in here because we do have AC um, and, uh, yes, we are in solar, but we still have AC. So it's, it's definitely <laughs> needed because it got really, really hot here. So, uh, this is the bathroom. As you can see, it's small, very, very small. We, uh, we have like a, a temporary septic system right now installed. So, um, if you're wondering where our waste goes, that's where it goes. Very, uh, we just kind of like painted everything, try to get stuff off the counter. We have like all our like toothpaste and that kind of stuff over here on this side. There is a shower, nothing too, you know, crazy. <laughs> it's small, it's tight. Um, and then we have some hooks here for the towels and whatnot, but that is the washroom. And we also did change the knobs as well. Like we just kind of painted everything, changed the knobs, the different knobs. Um, uh, just because the other ones were kind of like breaking and they were kind of old, but this is the kids room. I'm gonna see if I'm going to film this because it's tight in here. It's pretty small, but it works. Uh, Michael and Lily sleep over here cause they're like the youngest. And then Nicholas sleeps up top. There's storage up here for, you know, any, um, any, uh, games and toys the kids want. Nicholas has his lap desk here for when he uses for his homeschool. And then I have a couple of other like little baskets here too. We have to declutter a little bit more because I feel like since we got our stuff from our old home and we uh, put it here in storage, the kids have been bringing more stuff in, but we're going to need to declutter. As you can see, look, that's overflowing. That is like socks that are missing and we need pairs or we need to go over these 
kind of socks and put the pairs together. Do you ever have that? Like, where are the pairs? I do not know. And then I have some toys here for my daughter. And these are like uh, Michael and Lily's little sleeping bags. So when, if they want to sleep during the day, they can just take it out instead of like, if they're, you know, they're not like, they didn't take a shower yet. So just, they sleep on these little sleeping bags that are pretty cute. And then as you can see, Lily's corner, Michael's corner, look at my daughter. She played with her dot markers and she stamped the uh, wall. I was not impressed. My husband was not impressed either, but you know, those things happen. And then here on this little corner here, I have this little hook that was Lily's <laughs> and we just like hook, uh, we have a bunch of different things up here. Nicholas's backpack, sweaters, uh, they have their, uh, slippers over here and this is their curriculum bin. Each of them have their, uh, curriculums here and that is our science cart and, uh, art cart. So we have that over there and the kids also have their TV over here and where do I put their clothes? So there is also storage underneath here, like this lifts up. It's things that I don't use a lot. Like there's some board games in there and just a couple of things that we have that we store, but their clothes stays in here. Let me see how it's looking. Okay. This is where their clothes stays. Lily, Michael, Nicholas, three kids, three shelves. This is where their clothes stays. We don't have a lot, but it's more than enough. And then over here is like underwear, socks, drawer, and then towels. There are hooks over here. And that is their bedroom. As you can see, this is like definitely temporary, but I feel like we're comfortable. You know, I can't complain. We have a place for us to feel comfortable. We updated the space, which made a huge difference. We do have a couple of storages outside. Uh, that we can take advantage of as well. On our property, we have storage as well. So that really helps. We are completely off grid. And uh, yeah, that's kind of how it's looking. Mm -hmm.